Well, folks, we have another Rick and Jerry adventure for you. Hit that like button to help encourage Kier back with the party. Let's go. We gotta go. You gotta come with me, Jerry. Rick? It's important, Jerry. The, the, the fate of the galaxy rests on your shoulders. Let's go. Yeah. It's a Rick and Jerry adventure. Are you, you ready to play, Jerry? Yeah, where am I? Well, you open your eyes, Jerry, and you, you look around, and it's, it's very dark. You, you notice you've got a blanket on you, and you're, you're sitting in this really dark room. Okay, I want I want to get out of here. <laughs> so I, I um, do I feel a door of any sort? You stand up. You you, you feel the wooden door and you pu you push it open. Uh, you see the giant head from the room when you were here before. You remember collecting all of the things. You look down and you see your multiverse battery is sitting there right in front of you. So I still have that. So I want to walk out and head out the door on the far right. As so you walk back out that door, you show up and back up in this hallway again. I, don't, I vaguely remember this one. In the corner, you see a puff of fur with legs sticking out everywhere. Oh gosh, okay. Um, I want it's to... dead. It oh. smells really bad. <laughs> oh, that's gross. Okay. I'll walk like past it, um, and I'll take door number one. You walk into this big room. You remember being here before. It was the big swifty head. Heck yeah. <laughs> I remember that. Well, I'm going to go back. Right back out. Yeah, I forgot that. Okay, uh, now I remember. I'll take door two. Right at the bottom there, you walk into this room, and you see on there a pedestal with a treasure chest right on the top. Has the treasure chest been open or used or found? The treasure chest sits innocently atop the pedestal in the center of this, you know, otherwise empty room. That's it. Oh, That's okay. the whole room description for this one. Uh, it looks like it's just like a nice reward for all your, your hard work. Well, my hard work does pay off. I want to touch it. I want to grab it. Can I take it? You you walk over to it. Psych! It's a mimic. It's, oh my it's, it's always a mimic. I called it. I called as, it. as soon as you get right up to it, a big purple tongue bursts out and licks your face. It's go time. Oh my god. Let's do this. I will utilize my uh, quarter staff with two hands. That hits him. Uh, no one else is here to see this. Okay. <laughs> Six bludgeoning damage. You, you swing at him. You take your quarter staff straight over your head and smash it right on. And you feel it make contact. You feel the wood start splintering as you strike it. You feel your quarter staff vibrate in your hand, and you notice that the crack down the center gets even larger. Woo! It, it's time for the, the mimic. He reaches out with a bite attack. He hits you uh, for six piercing and six acid damage. Oh my god, okay. 12 HP. Well, this is great. <laughs> yeah, I want to use the quarter staff again. You, you almost miss it. Uh, but your quarterstaff comes through right into the top of it. You see the metal start to bend. You see the wood on top of the treasure chest mimic start to splinter away. Your your, your quarterstaff, it, it smashes. It, it cracks. That, that <laughs> crack goes right through it, and, and it's it's destroyed. You're holding chunks of wood in your hand. My, goodness. My poor quarterstaff. It, it, the mimic's turn. He takes out his pseudopod, he looks at you with his eyes, they narrow tightly. He reaches out at you for 18 attack roll. You take 7 bludgeoning damage. I do? You're knocked out. The pseudopod smacks you right in the face. You fly back. You, you hit the wall. Your head slumps. Everything goes black. I'm done. <laughs> Silence. Quiet stillness. This warm starts overcoming your body. You open your eyes. Oh? See yourself in this room. You have one HP left as you wake up here and you see this treasure chest in the middle of the room. You're awake now, Kier. So what do I, what is it that I see in this, the room? Do I still see it? <laughs> you still see that treasure chest. It sits innocently atop the pedestal in this uh... otherwise empty room. <laughs> I want to go back out this, this door. You feel so much pain in your legs. You limp your way out of the room, back into the hallway, stand in this hallway, bloodied, 
broken. All right, um, I'm gonna go down and uh, go down this first door. You step up through that top door of this room. It's a very simple little room. There's two other doors to it. It's like both paths have been taken before. Uh, what else do I see in the room? Is it just blank? The stone walls surround you on here. You see a couple names carved inside of there. Someone wrote on the corner, it's spray paint, Jerry's a loser. Oh my gosh, okay. I'll go to the right, farthest right. Walk through that door, find yourself down another very long hallway. You notice that this hallway's got a nice sea blue floor. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at the floor. That catches my attention. You can tell that this blue is, is really an underground river. Yes. And you're standing on a, a clear floor, and you see it flowing. So it's not like on the actual surface, it's below me, and I'm standing it's on below you. Surface. Okay. And you just see that the water is its coming towards you. Um, I'll go through in, through this door. You you walk in here, oh? and you, you hear some, some screaming. Oh! Oh! oh. You, see, you see a bugbear. This room has three levers set into the far wall. Something really good definitely happens if you mess with these levers. Uh, unless you mess with them in the wrong way. I can't in good conscience recommend that, but I'm not here to pass judgment on your choices. <laughs> okay. You um, see these three levers there, and this, this bugbear is just laying there on the ground screaming. Oh, oh. What's wrong with you? I'm yelling from the door. I want to keep my distance. <laughs> he looks over. Oh, help! Help me! Oh. How can I help? Hey. Oh, oh, okay. Ah. All right, all right. Well, while they're doing their thing, I want to investigate the mechanics of these levelers. The bugbear continues screaming out, Oh, oh, help me! You see that they're three different colors. You see one's gold, one's wood, and one's silver. Um, are they all engaged? Like, are, are they all, like, up or off? They're all in various locations. What? Okay. Um, Some are in the middle. Uh, the silver ones, maybe... You know, 30 degrees down, uh, the wood one is halfway down, and, and the, the gold one is just a little bit down. All right, I want to ask this dude. Um, uh, do you know how to use these? <laughs> I help. So you can't tell me how to use these? It's crawling over to you. Okay. You see his guts hanging on the inside out of him, as if he's been turned inside out. He's just screaming. Ah! He grabs your ankles. Help me! Ah, get off my ankles, man. Ah! Okay. All right, I want to back away. Social distancing. I want to mess with the wooden lever first. I want to bring, uh, pull it down. You hear the door crack open. You hear a little meow. Meow. Oh, my gosh, meow. the cat. Okay. <laughs> this, kid, this cat, or Gabby cat, cat walks in. Uh, oh, man, he really looks like he likes you. He, he starts coming over by you, like nuzzling, nuzzling by your legs. Meow. No. Meow. Meow. Uh, okay. Okay. Meow. Not the worst thing. All right. And you said there was a silver one. I want to pull that one down. A fishus appears in the center of the room. That's not a new monster, but it's it's a legit house plant. It's set up all neat in a pot. It doesn't do anything special, uh, unless 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 you treat it bad. It, it's, oh. it's a very it's a house plant that really gets attached to people. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. And lastly, the gold lever. Gonna go touch the gold level. The the, the cats rub it up by you. Meow, meow. The bugbear scream. Oh, oh hell! <laughs> you, you look down at the cat and. <laughs> Out comes another leg. Is oh, sticking out uh, <laughs> gross. In the middle of his back. He's got five okay. legs. Um, less cute, but yes, I'm gonna walk over to the gold. Yeah, yeah. Follows you. you. You hear the bugbear go, Whoa! and he comes back. His body is back to normal. He goes, oh, thank you. You saved me. Nice. Uh, do you want this plant? Oh, I don't. I don't like plants. I like meat. Can I eat this cat? Meow, meow. Yeah, I can't either. I don't know what's up with that. 
<laughs> the wooden lever. What if I pull it back off? Would that do anything to the cat? I want to try it. See another cat walk in the room. Meow. Meow. Oh, heck no. Nah. Okay. Meow, meow. I, I, you look down at this cat. Boom. There comes uh, another leg is sticking out the middle of its its head. Oh my gosh. Meow. 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 Can it walk on no. that leg? <laughs> Oh, okay. Um, I think I'm done with this room. <laughs> yeah. I want, I want to leave these cats. As you start walking to the door, you hear the, the house plant start screaming, "Don't leave me here! No! Oh, don't leave me here!" Oh man, I'm sorry, bud, but I'm gonna leave here. <laughs> the bugbear's following you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh my Now the other cat has a, another leg sticking out the side of its stomach. Meow. You, meow. You, you walk through that door. I'm gonna go and uh, dash to the other door. The bugbear's right there with you. Oh! Uh, <laughs> I don't want them near me. The bugbear is following you. Uh, the, the cats haven't quite made it out of the room yet. And the bugbear goes, uh, uh, Yes! Let's go home! As, as he runs after you. You make it to the door, right? As those, these cats show up. Meow, meow. You're going through that door. Yeah, still, even if they're following me. <laughs> All right, you show up out of this north north room. What looks like a holy shrine dedicated to a giant pink butt has been erected at the east end of the room. Oh, <laughs> smoke of fragrant incense. You can make out devout worshippers, all of oh them goblinoids, prostrated and mumbling before their curvaceous idol. An unusually short door stands along the south wall. The bugbear follows you. Hey, guys! We're home! Zorg walks up. You're back! Oh! Who are you? Bugbear goes, He helped me! What What happened to the other guys? Are you, um, sir? They're not here. They're not here. My name is Kerr. Where's our god? Have you seen her? No, I have not. What does she look? She's a beautiful woman. She's got blonde hair. She, and she's got half a butt. She's our, our lord and savior. I see two butts on your shrine. It's, it's something doesn't add up. You look around, Jerry, and you see that all of these creatures in here all are missing parts of a butt. Zorg says, yes, yes, we've all here lost, lost parts. It looks like you are fully whole. <laughs> yes. We sent our bugbears out. Hey, what happened out there? Oh, I got turned inside out. Oh, the, what about the young man who is helping you? He ran away. Oh, maybe our deities aren't as benign as we once thought. Are you here to help us or to hurt us? I'm here to help you. Whatever you guys, I'm your guy. Then find your group. Well, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. They must be stuck here. and lost somewhere. I want to go through this door down here. It looks like they're not here. They didn't go that way. No. All right. Well, um, uh, let's go this way. They didn't go that way either. You can just ask what? us. Where'd they go? You just came from the room they came from. Are you sure we can trust you? Do you even know where you are? What did you say your name was? You sure act like a Jerry. All right, you caught me. My name is Jerry. Oh, it's a Jerry, of course. Ugh, you're gonna need a map. Oh, Jerry's in this dungeon. You think Ricks would learn before they just start dumping Jerry's in this dungeon again? He walks over to between the butt. And he pulls out a book. Uh, the book's got a map on it points it over to you and shows you this this map and there, there's a clear path that leads you right to the exit I, i'm kind of lost here. <laughs> as you grab this map from him you okay. see on the ground a yellow line with arrows pointing <laughs> all right fair enough i'm gonna go this way you you follow these these yellow arrows you show up in this middle hallway room looking down you see a yellow line along the ground, kind of pointing. I'm going to continue to follow that line. Back into that little room. 
these arrows continue pointing you back through. Oh, wow. I was just wrong. <laughs> okay. I will follow the line. Follow the yellow brick line. <laughs> You're back in the room you just were. Yeah, Jerry. Yay. Yellow lines point to that direction. I have not accomplished anything. You step through this this door. You, you no longer see any more yellow lines on there. You look down at the map and looking at the piece of paper, you see it's been blank this whole time. Hmm. You had the power inside of yourself the whole time to find your party. What? (laughs) You always had the ability, Jerry. You just had to believe in yourself. You walk in here and you see that this is one of those chain restaurants that looks uh, like a wacky tavern with all sorts of bright lights and kitschy crap on the walls. Numerous patrons are inside. Okay. See this a couple windows, a door with a animatronic alligator right there at, at the front. So you said I had the power to search for my teammates the whole time. You did. You had the power and you feel them really close to you. Um, what do I see in this room in particular? You're standing in kind of a, a grassy opening to the front of a restaurant. You see this tavern. It's, it, there's a sign that says Frankie Frames. There's an animatronic alligator sitting there playing a guitar. Have you seen my friends? You you walk over in front of, of the alligator and you hear go, Welcome to Frankie Frames. And then just kind of stops motion again. Anything else that I see? Where you're standing there, you just see this nice wood door. Frankie Frames has a nice sign right above the door. Looks like a nice place to get some food. Looks like there's been plenty of traffic in and out. It looks like a well-populated place. Jerry, you're you're down to one health. You're you're pretty hurt. You're probably pretty hungry. Okay, so I think it's best if I eat. <laughs> I'll go inside. As soon as you you step in, you see a bench with some high top stools and a, a cash register with a a, a pig behind it. Hey! Welcome to, to Frank Frames! Come on in! Alright, sounds good. I'm in. Walk in, you start looking around, and you notice everyone kind of asleep. You see a clock on the wall. It says 11.45. All of these patrons, you look around, and everyone who's sitting here at different tables, they all start browsing, like moving their heads as if waking up from a sleep. I see my friends. Boy, Jerry sure does lead us through some great trips down memory lane. Now that he's with the party, I'm sure his magic will help them escape this room. Go ahead and give us a like and subscribe for future content. See you next time. Wubba lubba dub dub.